Paulson's Entertainment Week in Review. Well, this week, Hulk Hogan received $31 million from the website Gawker.com for the sex tape they released a few years ago. Remember that? When he had sex with his friend's wife? Well, $31 million is a lot of money. It's not as much as he was initially awarded, $140 million. But it's definitely enough to teach you a lesson. Never release a tape of a 62-year-old man having sex. Seriously, just don't do it. I don't know anyone that would watch it, ever. And Britney Spears almost had a wardrobe malfunction during her Planet Hollywood show this week. That's right, her top came undone while she was in the middle of a song and dance. Well, I guess a dance. One of the dancers was able to put a t-shirt on her while she was still dancing, which means it's a good thing she lip syncs. Because we all know she can't do more than two things at one time. Seriously, how is she famous? How? How? And Demi Lovato, I think we can all agree we'd consider her to be a knockout as far as her appearance, but did you know she could knock you out? In fact, that's what she did at a boxing gym this past week when she was sparring with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, Sylvester Stallone. And she accidentally caught him on the chin and knocked him out. Yeah, there is no court date set for when she will face charges of elder abuse. Seriously, he's no Rocky anymore. He's more mushy, you know, just, just saying. And Garth Brooks received Entertainer of the Year at the CMA Awards this past week, which proves to everybody that we still want our entertainers to actually sing their songs. Britney Spears. 